Hot Shots, beaming to you from not a financial advisor land with not financial advice. It's Kevin with Earth 2 Mastery, and today we jump into the metaverse. Okay, so grab your lighted beanie, ooh, because we're about to shed some light on the situation. People have been wondering where I've been. Okay, so you all know that I had COVID earlier in the year. That took me about three weeks before uh, I really got over that. Uh, still had some lasting fatigue, but I definitely got out of my routine at that point. Uh, once that was over, I got a notice from the county that they wanted me to clean all of the areas, uh, not on my property, but around my property on the roads. That stuff had not been cleaned uh, probably in the history of the world. Um, so that was about 80 years worth of brush, who knows, uh, it took me about a month of all my time off uh, to get that done. And by then air travel had picked back up. I was working six days a week. Uh, I also homeschool my son and I just wasn't finding the right time to get back into it, even though it's what I'm interested in. Uh, in addition to that, I'm kind of impatient like a lot of people that are subscribers. I'm a little bit ADD. I like to jump around a lot. Uh, but I was being kind of frustrated. Earth 2 wasn't moving towards the VR platform that I wanted it to uh, as quickly as I wanted it to. Um, with Vivi, uh, I work a lot of swing shifts late at night, and so all I was doing was waking up early, and with my bad internet, I was missing out on drops, but I was costing me sleep. And then the other drops were on Saturdays when I was at work, and I couldn't use, I couldn't participate in those because I was working. Uh, so I was just getting frustrated. In addition to being kind of fatigued from being sick and uh, doing a bunch of work around the property here on my time off in the summertime and working six days a week. I was also getting frustrated. Um, and so I decided to take a step back. Now that took a, that happened a little bit longer than I thought that it would uh, because I didn't uh, find a good time to get back into it. But now it's winter time. I can't do as much work outside. Uh, things are slowing down for me a little bit. I'm doing some training at work. And so I'm not uh, quite as mentally fatigued as I am when I'm just doing my actual work. Uh, so hopefully I can get back into a routine because the routine really keeps me going, you know, and uh, I'm, I've really missed interacting with you guys, but I wasn't staying on top of what was actually going on in the projects. And so I didn't feel like just coming out and making junk videos. Uh, so unless I can stay on top of content, unless I have something to provide, I didn't want to get back into a routine of just making videos about nonsense. But man, a lot has happened uh, that I've missed out on. Earth 2, in my opinion, is still kind of straggling. Um, but I have not sold my property. I want you guys to know, uh, people keep asking me, oh, you've, you've ditched the projects. Um, you, you aren't involved anymore. And, uh, I have not been making content, but I have not sold a single Omi. Say Omi is my homie for the algos down below. I've not sold a single Omi. I haven't sold my collectible. Gag. Hey, gag. Gag. Tell me the truth. Do you still have your Omi? Ooh, she got a gag is them diamond hands. What you... You lost a VV collectible. Uh, she says she hasn't sold any Omis or any of her collectibles, but she did lose one ultra rare dad bod Batman in a fierce game of backgammon. Ugh, so I guess she's missing out on them gains, but she hasn't sold any Omi, hasn't sold any uh, of her collectibles. We still have our Earth 2 property. Uh, I did miss in the midst of summer with everything going on, homeschooling my kid and everything, I did totally forget to collect essence and gems. Who knows how for how I could, because I forgot, I don't know how long it was, a month, two months, I don't know. But every day I log on to Earth 2, I collect my essence, I collect my gems, other than uh, when I forget or get tied up. Um, so I have quite a bit of essence built up now. I have 27,000 essence, probably not as much as some of you guys, you whales out there. I'm just a little guy. I'm just a, I'm just a minnow. I'm just a small fish in a big pond when it comes to any of this stuff. I see some of you I see some of you guys out there with hundreds of collectibles and VV. I got a little bit over uh, 50 of them between me and my son. Uh, we got like 55 or 56. I have participated in a couple drops, uh, but I just, you know, like the comics when they're I haven't been able to win one comic. And a lot of times when I wake up early in the morning, I can't go back to sleep. And then I didn't get enough sleep because I worked late the night before. Uh, so sometimes I just don't even participate in the drops. Uh, but 
I have been trying to get in on more drops. I have better internet now. It used to take me 24 hours to upload a video. And so a lot of the videos that you guys were seeing were stuff that I had either uploaded on my cell phone so the quality was poorer or um, it was stuff that I had uploaded from the day before. So I was kind of late to breaking news sometimes. Uh, but I do have better internet now, so it only takes me about an hour to upload stuff. Still not like gigabyte up, gigabyte down stuff like some of you have. Um, but it's good for the rural area that I live in. Okay, so that's it. Like people kept asking me, they keep messaging me. Oh, do you still have any Omeo? Do you still have any VV Collect? I have not sold anything. I got them diamond hands. All right. And I'll just run it right into the I don't care. Like it's either going to make me rich. Or it's going to make me broke. I don't, you know, but here's the thing. I, I was running out of some of my discretionary funds too, uh, which is another reason why I stopped buying collectibles in the secondary market uh, back in March or April or whenever. I just, I, just a bunch of stuff was going on, uh, but I, I really missed uh, making the content, interacting with the community. And it just kept dragging on and on and on because time just slips away. As you guys know, I'm getting to be an old man. I'm almost 40. I'm almost 40. And time just moves quicker and quicker. Like next thing you know, you look up and it's been three months. So uh, that happens. You young folks out there, you make moves while you can. Because later, you'll think that you did something quick and it'll be a year. Uh, so it takes a long time. Now, here we are on Earth 2. Um, you can see that I've still got my properties. I've got my essence. This whole less essence locked up in your properties thing is really interesting to me. So if you buy or sell a property, you can tell how much essence is locked up in it before you get rid of it. Um, but I don't know, like when I missed in the middle of summertime, when I missed getting some of that essence in the middle of the summer, I wonder if it was left behind in my properties or if that's gone forever. That's one thing that I'm interested in. Hopefully I didn't really miss out. Oh, you know, but who knows? Maybe, maybe I did. Maybe long term I'll get it back. I guess there's no real way to tell. We're going to have to dig deeper into that later. Um, for those of you who don't really stay on top of it, other than watching YouTube, here's Ecomi. It's at just over six tenths of a cent, uh, almost six and a half tenths of a cent. Um, all right, it's point six four six six four three. And I wanted to see, one of the first things I wanted to look at was the burn wallet balance here. 23 billion tokens they've burned now. Now we remember there was uh, 750 billion to begin with. Um, and some of those are still locked away in dev contracts as far as I know. But we've got 23 billion already burned. So that is trucking along with the 12 days of VV uh, during the Christmas time. I know there was a lot of burn. I was seeing 25, 30 million OMI burned every day. Uh, okay, now that's 750 billion. That's still going to be a lot of tokens um, that need to be burned before it starts making an impact on the uh, actual supply at 20 or 30 million a day. But it is working towards that direction. They're bringing more products in. There's more secondary sales happening. The VV verse with their subscriptions and stuff like that, they're gonna start probably burning uh, billions of OMI a month at some point in time. In my opinion, I don't know, we'll have to see as long as NFTs stay uh, popular. But you guys have seen probably I've been posting on Twitter and I've been doing some more VR stuff. That's another thing too. I was playing a lot of video games. If I had an extra hour or something like that, I want to play some video games because you know I do like video games. Uh, so because I wasn't staying on top of content, I couldn't just take an hour and make a video because I didn't know what to talk about. But I could take an hour and play a video game. So, you know, it kind of makes me, uh, I get trapped into the metaverse sometimes myself. Uh, but I saw an ad a few days ago, and I immediately shared it with you guys, the Multiverse app on Oculus was advertising that you got 500 free Metacoins. Now, obviously, immediately, that sounds like it could be a cryptocurrency at some point in time, but will it be? I don't know. So I've been trying to do some research, and you have to get in there and get those pretty quick um, if you want them, because I think that expires on the 31st. Uh, I got them. My son got them on his account. I play on both my account and his account. So sometimes you'll see me in there as VR Master, V-E-E-R Master. And sometimes you'll see me as Earth 2 Mastery. 
uh, because we, uh, I share my son's account a lot of times because he's already logged in. Uh, but I do have my own account now because I wanted to be able to meet you guys and have you recognize who I was. If we met in the multiverse, okay, where we're gonna, where we're gonna go in there and we're gonna see cool stuff. We're gonna work. We're gonna play. We're gonna meet new people. Um, but you have to get in there and get those 500 free meta tokens if you want them. And you do have to, unfortunately, you do have to have an Oculus in order to get into that app, as far as I could tell. If you don't have an Oculus, I think until the 31st, right now, I have a link in probably the pinned comment down below, I'll put it, where you can get a $30 store credit. Now, you can use that to buy games, or you can use it to buy 3,000 meta tokens, which right now would probably buy you... Um, Let's see, I've seen them as low as 150 for a floor. So that'd buy you 20 different floors with that free credit if you wanted to use those to buy meta tokens. Uh, but until the 31st, I think it's $60. I think they've doubled that reward. So it's hard to tell, but I think it's $60 credit. And I haven't been able to see them cheaper anywhere. If you buy them through that link, through Facebook, you get 30 or $60, depending on when you buy it. Uh, but $60 was just a Christmas and New Year special, and I think it expires on the 31st. So you would have to order that uh, in the next couple days. But other than that, you still get 30 tokens, or uh, 30 tokens, $30 that you could use to buy games or tokens. Um, but let's go over here. Here's the Metaverse site. This is multiverseonline.io. And when I was showing you guys that I was displaying my NFTs in my apartment, this is how I did it. I went over here and I hit launch. It's a little bit confusing, but I hit launch VR and then it said, look in your headset and accept. And so I looked in my headset and accepted and it connected my metaverse in there while well, my son's account, because his was the primary account on the Oculus. It connected that to um, this multiverse online.io. And then I went into that and uploaded pictures of my NFT so that I could display them in my apartments. And I am... I don't know, guys. I might be, and it's just luck because I showed up. I know Johnny come lately. I showed up, and I just might be one of the first people. I don't want to say the first because the internet in the world's a big place, but I might be one of the first people to display their NFTs in the metaverse. And uh, I'll tell you what, I don't know. That makes me feel really good. Okay, so it's hard on this multiverseonline.io. It's hard to find any contact information. It's like just... You know, they're talking about their different zones in there, their planetarium, how you can use their sales areas and their virtual meetings areas. Okay, fine. That's all good. You could do business in there. We know that. Uh, but in the terms and conditions, mm -hmm, that's right, I'm a, a little bit of a detective. In the terms and conditions, I found a website called FTL Limited. And I went to that and it was talking about the multiverse and metaverses. And I really wanted to interact with the devs and so that's what I was looking for was contact information. And lo and behold, down here at the bottom, we've got their Twitter links, Facebook links, YouTube links. So I went to their Discord and I started reading some of the stuff that they were talking about already. Now, it's obvious that everybody wants this MetaCoin to be a cryptocurrency. It does, it's not exactly clear whether they intend to make the MetaCoin a cryptocurrency or not, but they do have hopes of getting Meta or Facebook approval to sell, to link a wallet, possibly make Meta coins into a cryptocurrency, but definitely have the floors that you're buying, the locations, the apartments that you're buying in there um, traded as NFTs outside of the app so that you could uh, go and actually get valuable tokens for the apartments that you bought inside the app. Okay, so if you don't want to miss out on that, right, especially if you can get them for free right now, um, I understand if you don't want to invest any real money in there. I haven't yet, but um, I, I, I think I need to go and buy some more. I don't have anything right in the center of town. That stuff's kind of expensive right now because even though it's only been out for a week and a half, uh, the stuff has gone from being able to go in there and buy it for just a couple hundred tokens, from what I can tell, people paid for it, uh, to now it would take... 130 150 dollars to buy some of the floors right in the drop area now my strategy has been to move outside towards the edge of town 
uh, to cities further out on the map and buy there because I'm able to buy actual penthouses. But then there's not a lot of people around me. Now, the app is such that you can jump around to people that are already there and you can hear people talking even in another city um, and they just sound quieter so you can find out who's talking and then go talk to them. Uh, so it's not quite as imperative yet that you're in a good location, but I feel like they're going to have to get rid of the, that feature where you can hear everybody talking once there's more and more people in there. Once it's a bustling city you're not gonna be able to just listen to everybody talk or it's gonna be unusable. So there's a lot of work that has to go on uh, over the upcoming year in this multiverse, Infiniverse app. Uh, but it seems like they are dedicated towards updating it. I've already seen, even though they've had this big rush of people, the app is crashing sometimes. Uh, it's a little bit glitchy for me. I don't know if it's my internet or if it's the actual app but they've still been updating it. They've already rolled out trees in the parks, which might not sound like a big deal, but it's just building the landscape. Uh, there's clouds now. Um, people were reserving floors underneath the floor that they bought and making their building taller because they were reserving unlimited floors. I missed that opportunity, uh, but they fixed that. They patched that so that you can't do that anymore. Um, there's a lot of things that they've obviously been playing catch up on. I'm going to go in there and tell Gamerson, who looks like he's the head guy in the uh, Discord, that obviously, like everybody else, I think that priority one should be to have a map. I want to be able to tell you guys where we are at so we can go in there and create an Earth 2 community. We can go in there and create a VV community, a community of like-minded individuals where we can go and share and collaborate um, and show other, introduce new people to these products, right? I've already gone in there and started trying to ask people if they... Um, I wanted to do kind of a man on the streets type interview and I'm still going to try to work on that. I'll have to do a lot of editing because it seems that um, one of the one of the tough things, and this is, I've not really been in a metaverse before, but one of the tough things that it seems like is happening is people talk over each other, right? Because you can't really see when the other person is talking. Uh, you can't see where there's a break in conversation for you to interject. And then in addition to that, like if I'm in there trying to make a video or talk to one individual, you can hear people from all over the place talking. So in some of my videos, you can hear people talking in the background, but you can't mute everything because then the Oculus won't record what you're doing. So it's a, it's a little bit of growing pains. It's a little bit of stuff that I have to work through. Um, but I wanted to share with you that multiverseonline.io where you can upload your NFTs. I wanted to answer questions about where I've been. Uh, my ADD, like I say, gets the best of me. And so I jump around a, a little bit because I, but I really want to be involved in new things, right? I want to be on the cutting edge. Um, and so sometimes that drags me down. But I was just burnt out between all the stuff I had to do here at the house and all of the work that I had to do and then some kind of like long lasting fatigue from being sick. Um, it's just not been the greatest year for me. But don't call it a comeback, all right? Because I ain't never really left. I ain't sold my Omi, I ain't sold my VV collectibles and I ain't sold Earth 2. I'm still looking forward to participating in the metaverse and the multiverse with all of you. And that's why this multiverse app is, is so exciting to me. Uh, hopefully at some point in time we can profit from it. But even so, this is just the first taste that I'm getting of a metaverse where you can actually own a property uh, and partake with um, any kind of group that you are in and also meet new people. All right. So until next time, I will see you guys later. All right.